Welcome back to part I do not Let's know. Go. Yeah, welcome back. And also, I got a new haircut. I like it, Kaji. <laughs> If you remember last episode we actually created a shifter sprint button uh, yeah i already know you know that and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how we can create a kill bot boring. so here is the kill bot right here and when we walk into it it's going to kill us it doesn't require any coding such can be quite a short video because there's uh only a model that you need to download and to be honest what makes a horror game without actually having something that kills you yes so it's very easy to implement uh and then it's got one script that relates back to a video we've done in the past and then it all comes together to look pretty good now before we begin if you could consider subscribe no all right so to begin we actually need to get the model otherwise it's not gonna work so to do this i need you guys to go to the description of this video and collect the model it's gonna take you to a roblox link press buy it's not actually gonna take any like robux from you it's free Press buy and then it's going to save into your models in your Roblox uh, My Models section. So go to your My Models here, which looks like a bit like a shelf, and you should find it there. Once you've got it, drag it in, and then you should have something a bit like this. And you're wondering with the face, you can always change this. You can just go to head and change the decal by changing the ID. But that's all okay. Now, we have our... Uh, dummy script well we have our killer npc and if we go and play you can see it's going to kill us what where is it oh now you're probably wondering why it keeps disappearing and reappearing well let me explain that to so pretty much how it works is that we have, as I was saying in the opening, that it's going to link back to the previous videos if you can still remember it. We've got this, and this pretty much loops through as a wild true do loop. We've got the uh, the killer NPC. We've got a boolean value here, and it's going to infinitely do this until we tell it to stop. And it's going to look at the if entity visible, if that's true, which it is, it's going to set this to replicate storage, so it's going to hide it. And then we're going to set it to, fo uh, to false. It's going to go back up to the top and then it's going to see that, oh, this is not true. So then it's going to go to this and then it's, that's going to put it back, make it visible. And that's going to happen every five seconds. It's going to reappear and disappear. So that's why it was reappearing and disappearing. But yeah, if we go and ahead and play this with the lights, if you remember that as well, the lights should turn off and on every 60 seconds. And we can also set this for the monster killer NPC here. We can also set that to 60. But yeah, other than that, that was quite a short video, but very important video, as it's definitely going to be uh, vital in our game, because that's actually how the game is going to function. And hopefully you didn't find that too difficult, because if you did, then you're so stupid. What did you say? But yeah, that that is it. I know it's quite a short video, but yeah, as I said, very important. And I'll see you guys in the next one.